Hans, do we have anyone down on um, oh, oh, just a little bit. Um, so you take the first group? Yeah. Right. Five groups. Uh, the groups will be, uh, like, there'll be a coordinator in each group. Okay. Um, evening uh, we counted 81 whales that obviously moved uh, from the stranding yesterday further west uh, to this location here right in front of Triangle Flat. Uh, they moved in the right direction which is good. It's such a place where we can attempt another rescue. Um, basically the whales we counted for yesterday are all still here. Uh, we still have to establish exact numbers but it's roughly 80 to 85 whales and I'd say uh, 10 to 15 have died overnight. So we roughly have 70 whales left to rescue, but that's a good number. And the place is not a bad place to attempt a rescue. So all looking not too dire. However, uh, we've lost about 130 whales in the last 24 hours. So that's, that's, that's a high mortality rate. We, with the tide dropping, we don't really have a lot of options in terms of trying to refloat. Um, so these, wh these whales are likely to be high and dry for the middle part of today. Um, we'll, we'll start administering basic first aid, so we're gonna keep them cool, calm and comfortable. We've got more volunteers turning up, hopefully shortly, which means that more hands um, will, will give them a better chance to survive through the day.
my name is Erika. I'm an Austrian by birth, but I live here since seven years. I'm here today because I have the feeling as all the other hundreds of people I need to support to, to rescue the whales. And I'm so impressed that everyone is coming. So many young people, you know. And that's quite... And it's so well organized, to be honest. Yeah, it's really lovely. Our Noah, we called him Noah. He will survive. 